in this video, I will show you all the steps you need to do to create this form lighting to your photos in Photoshop. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about editing and digital art. If you look at my portfolio from last year, you notice that I use this trick almost every time when I edit photos, especially close-up shots to create this mysterious warm lighting. Follow along with this tutorial and you will create the same effect to your own photos. I'm going to use this photo as an example. Got this photo from Wesley Whitfield. So big thanks to Wesley for sending me his photo. Let's start off with creating a new layer here and go to edit fill. Now you want to select 50% gray and change the blend mode to overlay. After that, you want to go to the dodge tool and select the dodge tool. With the dodge tool, we can adjust the eye and make these eyes really lighter. Because I don't want to lose the sight of his eyes, I want to make sure the highlights of these eyes are really glowing and standing out in the dark. So usually I just brush the lighter areas of the eye and adjust the settings slightly above. So I'm making sure the eye is really visible now with the dodge tool. The reason why I use a separate layer here is so I can adjust these settings, like change the opacity here. After that, I will start with creating adjustment layers and I start off with curves. With the curves, I can adjust highlights, mid-tones and darker areas in photos. I think it's probably my favorite adjustment layer of Photoshop for lighting. So I will drop the highlights first and make sure the photo is still visible but a little bit darker. After that, I can just use a normal brush, black brush and brush areas lighter because I want to create lighting on the left side of this photo so I make sure this left side stays visible and I'm gonna just brush all these curves away on this side. After that I will create another curves adjustment layer and this oh forgot the little piece there in the eye and this time I'm gonna drop the mid-tones of it so we get more contrast in this photo. After that I will create a third curves layer and this one I'm going to use to lighten up all the highlights in this photo. After that, it is time to create some light effects on the left side of this image. I do this on a separate layer again and select a color almost white to yellowish color that I want my lighting to be. So I first start off with brushing a dot like this one and make it bigger and put it on the left side where I want my lighting to be. Change the blend mode to screen and make sure it fits the image very well and where I want it to be. Now once I got the right spot for it, I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and change the blend mode to overlay to create the reflections on this leopard, leopard, whatever you call it. And with the hue and saturation, I can just adjust this color because I want a little bit more color of it on this reflection. After that, I will move this layer around on different areas of the photo to see how it looks and try to make it bigger. If it doesn't need to be bigger, I'll just leave it like that and duplicate this layer again. And again, I'm gonna resize this to see how this looks on different spots on this leopard and try to find a nice spot for extra light reflections here and to make this even better i just gonna drop the opacity here so it looks better and now i can create a new layer and this time i'm gonna lighten up the eyes so i'm just selecting uh, orange color so i get a little bit more color in this eyes and change the blend mode to overlay now this is a little bit too colorful for me so i adjust the settings here and give it a little bit more lightness or drop in the saturation to see how it looks better and something like this to make it look more realistic than it was and yet again I dropped opacity to make it blend better together and I'm gonna create another curves layer and this time I'm gonna do the mid-tones here so we get more contrast on the right side of this image so I'm brushing the left side away again just brushing on this mask of it with a black brush to make sure the right side is like with more contrast than the left side because we have a dark area there and usually I just play around with these curves here to see what looks best and using a normal brush to get the left side away again. So start with brushing this left side and leave the darker side on the right side with more contrast. After that I save the photo as a PNG file and open this up in Lightroom and add my presets to them. You can get these presets if you check the link in the description and as you can see this image changes like directly changes everything when you just apply one of the presets so I select usually I select a couple of these presets and just edit these settings slightly and save them as different files which I open up in Photoshop again now back in Photoshop with three exported files from Lightroom it saves me a lot of time when I use presets I don't want to do this in Photoshop it's gonna cost me a lot of time to create three different images so I just select three of these presets and 
put them in different layers above all the other layers and the only thing I have to do here is to slightly adjust the opacity of all these three layers and sometimes I also change the blend mode here for instance to color or saturation whatever feels best and looks right the reason why I use three presets instead of just one is because I usually can choose between a couple of presets so I want to make sure they all have something of them in the final final photo final design whatever and I want to make sure it still looks like a real photo but still with that little touch of art in it so this way I use them all three and adjust these brightness and play around with the settings after that I will create another curves layer and this is for getting the final result right so I'm just play around with these curves here to see how it changes the image how it changes the photo and maybe I need some more contrast in it like now and always checking the red one the green one and also the blue one to see if I need to slightly edit these colors a little bit to get it more right once I got that right I always like to change the background of Photoshop to black and gray and checking all the layers if I can make some things better for instance maybe I want to lighten up the eyes here a little bit more so I just duplicate that layer or put these layers from the presets in one folder and adjust the opacity again so maybe this was too much so something like this so this was the before image and after that it looked like this so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed my content and make sure to check out one of these videos if you want to learn more about photoshop and all the tricks i do until then see you in the next video